Ani, Bojo, Chichak, and Adishna Kaz, Maing and Dodem, Toronto, Adunji. You know, my name is uh, Alan Colley, and what I just introduced is uh, my spirit name, which is Hooping Crane. Uh, and so I'm part of the Wolf Clan and I was born and raised here in Toronto. Uh, and so I'm very grateful to, to have this moment uh, to be able to share a few stories. Uh, for me, that as growing up, you know, it really uh, connected me with place, but also uh, just how magical uh, this world is. So this first story I'd like to share today uh, takes us back to uh, when our world was just new. Uh, we say that uh, in this space, uh, before we came here, uh, there was a great flood. Uh, and so uh, up in that sky world, uh, way away, far away, uh, there was Sky Woman. Uh, and so she was very curious. And so one day uh, she was sitting at the base of this tree uh, and she began to dig and she began to uh, move away some of that dirt. Uh, and as she did that, all of a sudden, uh, that ground opened way. Uh, and so, lo and behold, uh, up in that sky, uh, this woman began to fall and she began coming down to this place. Uh, and so at that time, everything was just full of water. Uh, and so looking around, all the birds that could be seen uh, in all different directions had noticed this disturbance in the sky. Uh, and they flew up and they meted and they greeted the sky woman as she was coming and she was tumbling to the space. Uh, and they made that net, that big, that soft ground so that as sky woman came down, uh, she was on those feathers. Uh, and so she came down into a space like this that was full of water and all of a sudden appeared uh, this giant turtle. Uh, and as this turtle arose, it gave a space for her to sit down. And all around, these different beings of creation began to show up. The, the otter, the beaver, uh, and then the little muskrat were there. And so all in amazement and awe, these beings went to this woman and began asking her all these questions. Where did you come from? Why are you here? Uh, and so very quickly, she began to share that story of the gifts that she was here to do. And so she asked all those animals for their help. And she said that beneath the waters, that there was this earth, there was this clay. And so she asked each one of those animals to dive down and to be able to find uh, that earth and to be able to bring it back up to the surface. And so at first there was that beaver and that beaver has that big strong tail and he's able to slap the water uh, and he thinks he's all mighty and all strong. And so that beaver went down uh, and he swam and he swam and he came right back up gasping for air that, uh, you know, he had nothing. He couldn't find it. Uh, and so next was the otter and the otter being as strong and as mighty as he is and he swims through the rivers and the ocean's currents. He too went down to the bottom to find that earth and that soil. And so when he came back up, he also was empty handed. And so there on the turtle's back with Sky Woman and those birds and all those beings of creation, uh, that little muskrat, he, uh, he spoke up and he said that I'm going to try and I'm going to do with all my might. And so that little muskrat, he dove down to the bottom as long as he could. And it had seemed like hours and if not days had passed. And so all the animals had begun to worry, thinking that, oh no, the muskrat, he is gone. And so as they looked out, they could see this little being come back up to the surface. And so Sky Woman, she reached in and she picked him up and inside of his hand, she opened it up and she found that bit of soil. And so she took that soil and she began to blow it around the turtle's back and all that land and all those mountains and all those rivers and everything began to appear. And so we say that for us as people, it's really the gift that we are to be in this space. And so when we think about the water and we think about the rocks and we think about all those plants that grow across that contain all those medicines and we think about all those animals that the messages that they they give to us of how uh, we honor life and we look at those birds uh, those ones that can go real high way up into the sky uh, and remind us every day uh, to give thanks and appreciate this space uh, and so there's many versions of that story of sky woman uh, and so I encourage you, if you have the chance to sit down and go out and talk to the elders and talk to the community members, uh, expand yourself and to think about those stories about how uh, we've all come to this space uh, to share and to be. And so I say, Chimigwech, Omapi.